I gotta ask, bro, because everyone wants to know, how much goddamn money have you fucking made on YouTube? <laughs> So welcome to our unnamed podcast and video on my channel with Jack Doherty. What's up? <laughs> my goodness. Freaking 16 year old kid. I got to ask, bro, because everyone wants to know how much goddamn money have you fucking made on YouTube? Couple billion. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just really? Kidding. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I'm making pretty good money. Sometimes more than my parents. Sometimes not. <laughs> what do your parents do? My dad owns uh, eyeglass stores, roofing company, and then he does... Eyeglass, roofing company, and then real estate. There you go. Holy crud. So, dude, when you got started with the whole YouTube thing, your parents were, like, super supportive? or? Yeah, pretty much. Really? I mean, like, they weren't taking it seriously, but, like, I blew up pretty fast. So, like, eventually they just were like, you know what? I guess he's doing fine. But school, you have to keep doing school. What are you talking about? Their... It's Monday. I know. But, uh, I mean, now is when I had less <laughs> subscribers. So, it's different now. What, how many subs do you have? 2.5 million. 2.5 million. Yeah. I just hit 2.5 million like two days ago. Well, congrats. Do you get like a whole badge for that or no? Nope. You don't nope. get anything. You don't get anything? Nope. Well, only for, for 10 million now. 10 million. Yeah. When do you wait. think you'll hit 10 mil? Maybe three years, two years. Depends. It might just blow up fast. I don't know. You might just never hit it. All right. But dude, tell me the story. Like you're 16 now. Yeah. 2.5 mil subs on YouTube. 300,000 on Instagram. Do you Snapchat or is that like not a thing anymore? Honestly, like my Instagram story views have gotten more than my Snapchat views because Snapchat, ever since that new update came out a year ago, like I hate it. It's so bad. Yeah, it's not, not worth it. Yeah, but I feel like they're trying to come back, right? Hopefully. I mean, I wish they changed the layout again because it's trash. It's literally Dude, trash. If they just let me upload on Instagram and Snapchat at the same time, that'd be great. Yeah, that'd be so good. Yeah, because I really up, I download my videos, save them, and then put them on Instagram or put them on Snapchat. Yeah, it's, 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 it's too much work, dude. But I think everyone's wondering, like, how did this all happen? Ooh, that's a good question. I don't know. So I was like 13. Actually, I posted my video like my first video was like cut like a week before I turned 13. So when I was like 12, but I like had stuff in mind, like video ideas in mind. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, all right, I'll just post them when I get to them. So I started posting them. They started doing pretty well. And then I put more time into it and started posting consistently. I started posting like really consistently and that's like what really helps you out because if you're not consistent, no one's going to know where you're going to post and you're just coming out of like thin air. And just yeah. like, oh, Jake told me kid? the same stuff. He's like, yeah. dude, you have to do Tiger Tuesdays. And I'm like, <laughs> oh dude, this guy's a genius. And then I just realized it's just because my last name starts with a T. <laughs> right? But um, dude, I'm sure everyone's wondering because like what, you're 16 now. What was I doing at 16? Uh, oh, pretending that I was like with a bunch of girls to all my guy friends. Uh, <laughs> playing sports. Uh, frick. What, what's it like being 16? and be like, It's you're, it's Monday and you're here in Vegas. That's true. We're about to check into a penthouse at Caesars. Yeah. Do some dope shit. Like, yeah, I mean, I'd totally rather be in school right now, you know? Really? Just, no, absolutely <laughs> not. I want to drop out so badly, but I'm not allowed to. Why aren't you allowed to? Because my mom says, education first, even though she didn't even go to college or anything. See, oh, no, dude, my dad was the same way. So, like, my dad, he's, uh, well, he was homeless at our age. Really? Yeah, homeless, bro. And, like, now yeah. he's, like, he's almost 50, million dollar plus house in San Clemente, California, Orange County, best school system, all that kind of stuff. Damn. Dropped out of college. Damn. Still thinks I should go to college. Really? Bro, I'm 26 and I've done pretty That's well. Crazy. Still wants me to go to college. But it's like, I think when your parents went to school, no, not, not college, right? My dad went to like, what, two years of college pretty right. much? Well, I mean, dude, the way that my dad explained it is like he wants to give me the opportunities that like he, I, that he didn't have. Yeah. Right? But what's a degree, honestly? I don't know. When you run out of toilet paper, you can wipe your ass with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, a degree is like so pointless because I don't want to work for anyone. So why, why should I need a degree to work for myself? I mean, dude, people say that it helps you with, like, with structure and, like, guidance and learning stuff. But, like, no. my big thing is I think people that teach just don't know how to do it. Exactly. All right. So. they're teaching the wrong things. Yeah. But, dude, 16. What's a, what's a d normal day in the life for you, dude? You just wake up, look at yourself, go, like, damn, I'm fucking awesome and just go to cool. Damn, I got so much money. Like, <laughs> dude, like, what do I do with this? I should just burn it, bro. Like, it's crazy. No. I wake up, walk my dog, go to school. Then come back from school and maybe work on some videos, maybe film a video. But I normally dedicate my weekends to filming my videos. Okay, I'll just so like film like two to three videos, maybe in one day, and I'll just grind it out the whole day. All right. So when I when I when I see like young kids like you, like under eighteen and stuff, and I know there's like all these weird laws because I remember growing up, I heard like, do you guys remember like was it, was it Gary Coleman or George Foreman or Gary Coleman, the young kid, and Michael Jackson, like you know their parents like mismanaged their money or something. 
Like, what is that like? Like, what, you're 16? You, you, you can't legally make money, can you? Oh, yeah, daddy takes it on. No, I'm just kidding. No. Daddy, my dad doesn't take anything. My parents just, like, they just gave me a bank account, but my dad just helps me invest it. Right, but do you have full control over all your money? Yeah, I can spend it whenever I want, pretty much. What the frick? Dude, what are And if these? I get in trouble, my dad goes, I'm taking away your money. <laughs> <laughs> and I, like, lock my credit card. I'm just like, all right, cool, but he doesn't do it. He does, maybe did it maybe one time, like, last week for the first time. Dude, that's nuts. But it's just so, like, you started at, like, 12, 13. You're 16 now. You're noticing that your audience is getting older, right? Yeah. So, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't be, like, caught dead on a, at, like, something like this where we're just cursing and stuff like that <laughs> two, three years ago. Well, you're 16. You're becoming a young adult. What's the plan? Are you just going to keep on flipping bottles or start buying <laughs> no, bottles? I or? stopped that, like, two to three years ago. But, I don't know. I'm planning on doing, like, uh, just interesting videos that, like, you know, can entertain someone and, like, make them want to watch it and stuff that, like, I'd watch too, you know? Right. That's what I've mainly been focusing on, like, because I realized, like, some of my old videos, like, I wouldn't really watch, but, like, my new videos that I'm putting out, like, it's, I want it to be something, like, that I would watch, you know? Um, dude, I watched your freaking uh, bungee jump, or not bungee jump, trampoline one this morning. <laughs> and I was like, I'm expecting this young kid to come through. Just, dude, you remember your message you sent me? It was the nicest, sweetest message I've ever gotten. And I'm like, oh, it's like this really sweet kid. He's like, yo, bro, like I'm trying to expand to become an entrepreneur, make make money in the business world. It'd be really cool if I can learn from you. And I'm like, oh, sweet kid, nice kid, awesome, cool, make it work. And then this morning, he's like just about to land. I'm like, oh, I should probably watch a few of his videos. <laughs> and I went through his content. I'm like, dude, this kid's a fucking shit. <laughs> and like, he's like, it's just like one of us, right? Like, we just like to fuck around, have some good, have a good time and everything. But you know, you do you entertain because it makes you money, or do you like entertaining? Like, what what is it? I mean, it's like obviously, like I wouldn't be doing it if I wasn't making money, because then I'd just be like, you know, wasting my time. But it's also, it's like a fun way to make money, so right. like, I enjoy it. It's so, cool, like I get to do things like this, so it's like really awesome to be able to do that stuff. And just, what what are your plans with it? Because obviously, you know, you got to learn how to grow that money yeah. and save that money and freaking yeah. invest and stuff. Heard you just bought a house. Yeah, I That's, bought a house like a couple months ago. Dude, so. okay, everyone else, anyone else in this room feel like a piece of shit? Like, <laughs> <laughs> my <laughs> brother. <laughs> Again, 15-year-old, if you bought a house at 15, dude, I, my, my parents are keep on yelling, like, get into real estate, get into real estate. I mean, I got investments and stuff, but like, I'm afraid yeah. to buy right now. But what, what made you want to buy right now? My dad, pretty much. Well, actually, I've always been into real estate. Like, I've always watched, like, HGTV, like, that type of stuff. Like, I've always right. been into houses, and I've always wanted to do, like, real estate. Right. Like, even, like, last year, I was like, damn, like, maybe one day I'll just quit YouTube and just do real estate. But, like, you know, that was kind of dumb. So, I, I just don't, like, I'll just do both, you know? Well, I mean, you have such a vast audience, right? And, like, for me, like, I'm, like I've, I had this conversation with Jake. Your guys' world and my world is completely different. Like, mm -hmm. I'm in the business of business. Like, I've, I'm focused on becoming... You know, just building something really big, building like companies and selling them and spreading out concepts and everything. But then I have to build an audience to like sell it to. Yeah. You guys like built the audience first. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I know what you mean. Like, what the hell? Yeah. Like, that's understand. like, that's the, um, I don't know, for you, like, your easy part was like building like your business first. But then for us, it was like us building like our platform first. And then like, then we have to work on like the. Right. Like what flip. to sell. Yeah. Yeah. And like, what's it called? So you wanted, to, you came down here to learn how to do what I do, uh -huh. which is e commerce and drop shipping. And honestly, I think now you know more than ever, I'm more of a marketing guy than anything yeah. else. But I mean, that's where you make all the money, dude. Yeah, Salesman. Exactly. Right. So. What do you have to give to these young kids that I need to bleep all these freaking curse words for because <laughs> it's Jack Doherty. How do you say your last name? Uh, Doherty. Doherty? Yeah. Doherty. Yeah, I got, I got these messages from like some of my friends in Australia that have your last name. Uh -huh. They're just like, dude, how is that kid have my last name and doing so much better than me? And I'm, I'm like, how does that even correlate? But, <laughs> yeah, right. But apparently you got to become famous on YouTube and start selling stuff. But what's the game plan, dude? Like, you, you have the audience now. They're making money through AdSense. Mm -hmm. What, brand deals, merch? Like, what's yeah, the move? Yeah, pretty much. And then I'm just trying to, like, uh, invest in, like, uh, real estate, invest in just a bunch of other things and just continue to do YouTube and just whatever I make just and put in investments and okay. try to keep whatever I have in my bank account, like, as minimal as possible if I could just invest everything. All right. Well, I'll ask you the same question I asked Jake last time and how to, I'm going to end it with this. What's the best piece of advice that you have for kids that are watching you right now? Hmm. If you don't like doing what you're doing, don't do it because eventually you're probably just not going to want to do it. And it's not going to feel like, and it's going to start feeling like a job to you instead of like having fun. Because if you're having fun doing what you love, like it's much different than working, you know? Oh yeah. I mean it like comes, everything comes much easier. Well, think about it to be successful in anything. You have to be consistent with it. And if you're yeah. going to be consistent with something, you have to enjoy it. 
And it's like, I, I don't know, our parents always taught us like, oh, it's all about hard work. Yeah. And it's like, it's not about liking what you do. You got to just work really hard. I think that's bullshit. Yeah, that's so true because like, honestly, and if you try to become a YouTuber and people make fun of you, like don't care about what anyone says. Cause like I was getting picked on so much. It was so funny. But like now I was just like, all right, well. Now we do so ha. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, your bullies are in class right now, and yeah. you're spending your day on Monday with me, which honestly, that, <laughs> we gotta blur those out. Oh my god, I gotta blur like every freaking minute of this video. But thanks for being on. We're gonna do some a lot of cool stuff today. I want to. Oh get, yeah. I gotta put you guys. Look, you guys want to know what my job is? Is to have these guys with a big audience to enjoy working with me, so I can teach you guys how to actually convert your audience into making a lot of money because this guy's got like 2.5 million subs uh, let, let's assume you made what a million dollars on youtube let's mm -hmm. say you made a million maybe yep. two one maybe. around yeah, one one a little bit a little higher than okay one. so this Not guy two. a little over seven figures on youtube and he's got 2.5 million subs yes you guys are very well aware i'm nowhere near that and we've done about 10 times that with about 40,000 people following us on instagram <laughs> so my goal is to teach these youtubers how to make a lot more money with their audience and actually convert and keep them instead of just you know being popular for a few years and disappearing yeah. and you're cool with, you're cool with that yeah you think there's a demand for that you think people want to learn how to do yes, that yes of course right. that's what every kid that's every kid's dream right now dude, i think it's every youtuber's dream right now yeah. dude, like you're seeing merch sales dying you're seeing all this stuff going yeah. through, through the ground like man so we're gonna work on jack and making a millions of dollars hope you guys enjoy the show i'll see you guys next time bye Thank you.